course. Got to know what happens in 2018 to understand 1984. It'll make all the difference. All right, next email enigmatically comes in from G. I don't know who G is. He's the agent. He's the frightened zombie. Oh, right, okay. He's got a Dreamcast type strapped to his back and a typewriter. <laughs> oh, never mind. In, 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 never mind. In the first line of his email, hey, it's Gareth from Ireland. Oh, there wow. you go. <laughs> Finally, G has been revealed. So I bought a PlayStation, a PlayStation TV for 50 euros yesterday. It seemed like a reasonable price. Mm. Well, well, what a miserable fucking turd of a box. <laughs> <laughs> the UI is clumsy and barely functions without touch. It's hideous on a 50-inch screen. You know. You can only access the one gigabyte of internal memory if you don't have a memory card in the system. I mean, it's a gig. The list goes on. But I thought, at the very least, I could use the system as a box to play all my PS1 and PSP games. Hmm. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Certain Vita games won't play because of missing functionality. Uh -huh. Fine. Good, even. However, I can't for the life of me figure out why certain other games are incompatible. Valkyria Chronicles 2 for PSP is incompatible on uh, any PlayStation TV. Resolution issue, question mark, question mark. Much of the Final Fantasy series, 4, 5, 8, 9, and Tactics, are compatible with Vitas globally, but won't run on PlayStation TV in PAL regions. No idea what the fuck. Can you think of any reason why this would be the case? Has Sony soiled the only reason that anybody would want this abomination? Much appreciated, G. Like, I think that's kind of the whole thing with that thing, right? Like, it doesn't even do the thing it's supposed to do properly. I mean, they put out a fucking... You know, this could have been a beautiful thing in a world where any game developer gave a fuck about putting a game out on the Vita. Yeah. You know? Like, or, or gave a fuck about updating their existing games to work on the Vita. But there was zero incentive for them to do that because no one bought one of those fucking things because people didn't buy the regular Vita to begin with. <laughs> So everyone fucking ran away from that thing like it was scorched earth. And now you see a lot of, like, really interesting indie games, and that's fucking cool as shit. Like, there's some fucking cool games on the Vita. Yeah. But, yeah. Remember when we used to care very deeply about getting video out of a Vita? I spent <laughs> hundreds of dollars yeah. of my own money on buying a Vita with custom video out, only to find that the video out was not of a high enough quality for us to use reliably. Right. But then by the time they put out a device that actually served our needs... It didn't actually serve our well, needs, and also there are no also, games. who cares? Yeah. It, who cares? Like, it's fucking insane. Yeah. The, trajectory, the trajectory of the Vita has been nuts. <laughs> Top to bottom. From fucking day one. <laughs> Remember when that thing had a cell phone in it? Yeah! The Vita? It had a fucking SIM card, and you fucking... Three, 3G Vita. Oh, the 3G the three one. Yeah, G yeah, model. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Man, the Vita... I saw a Vita TV a couple of weeks ago on the internet for thirty four dollars. Yeah, no, that's the thing. I stared so, at it like for fifty a while. euros is also a lot of money to pay for that. Yeah, thing. it yeah. actually is. The main reason I included this email is because so is that price drop permanent? I, I like, don't know. The, I, the the PlayStation TV has been available for forty dollars in the U.S. for a while. There's yeah. a bundle with a PlayStation Three controller and the Lego Movie game or something for fifty dollars. That's, and then I saw the actual Vita TV for 34 recently. Yeah, that seems like not a bad deal. But, but I almost bought both of them, and I'm just staring at it at this yeah. page on Amazon. Just like, what am I going to ever use this yeah, for every one time? Every time the price drops on the PlayStation TV, I'm like, well, I would be stupid not to buy it at that price, right? But yeah. then, like, what would you do with it? Like, so I, I bought one when they house. came out in Japan and yeah. then didn't do anything with it until they turned on U.S. functionality. And then did that, and then started testing out games, and you're like, oh, no, they were not lying about this compatibility list. This thing's fucking useless. Uh, even games that you think should totally work on that thing, you know, the developers just didn't go back and just flip a switch and resubmit it or something to say, like, oh, no, we tested it, it works. Like, it's just, they don't care. Why would they? Yeah. Why, indeed. Like, they have to just be liquidating those things at this point, right? Like, the Vita, yeah, I guess. There. I mean, yeah. just to fucking, yeah. Like, the Vita, like... It's a shame because I'm not, you know, there are quality products available on the Vita. Yeah. Like, I mean, let, make, like, make no mistake. Most of them are also available on other PlayStation systems. And it's a pr product that has, like, a pretty good build quality. Like, yeah. I'm satisfied yeah. with a, a lot nice of things device. about the Vita, yeah. except what the fuck are you going to do with it? Yeah. It's nuts, man. Like, yeah. like, we joke about the PSP and where it ended up compared to the DS, but, man, the PSP had itself a fucking lifespan. There yeah. are a lot of fucking PSP games. Yeah. And some of them are pretty goddamn good. But man, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That Vita. 
like you take away whatever like indie support it's gotten by like you know indie developers thinking it'd be really cool to be on a handheld yeah. or Sony you know kind of jingling keys in their direction, convinced like tricking them into doing the work or doing the work for them or whatever been it's been. But and like what is on that? Thing? Like it's it's imagine the, what it would be without that. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Like holy shit. Like that thing's like abysmal in a lot of ways, and and all of it should have gone in a different direction. Like every yeah. single piece of it is cool. Yeah. Except for the part where just no one bought one and the games don't matter and like you know it's just they yeah man just trying to throw all their big you know console franchises on there you had an Uncharted a Kill Zone and a Resistance it's like they doubled they, all... they doubled down on all the mistakes they made on the PSP yep. you know yep. it was it was like those were the sorts of experiences that people didn't want to have on a handheld yeah uh, whereas like the, the DS is doing the and the 3DS is doing the complete opposite and like oh this is perfect for while I'm on the bus or right you know, yeah yeah uh, like the the portable console thing only works if you're like on a toilet a lot i guess i don't know i guess yeah uh, i like the psp there was there was some cool yeah. psp stuff yeah it was kind of a, it was a neat thing Lumin- uh, luminous is a hell of a game yep. luminous is yep. still the best game those rich racer games handheld. that came out on the psp were quite good twist the metal head on what it was cool. pretty good was i wish game. they had just straight up ported luminous one to the vita i would have bought that again yeah hmm I would buy an iPhone port of Luminous One. Mm. Sell me Luminous. Those skins Please. and that music in, in the first yeah. game, I think, are just better yes. than a lot of the stuff yeah. they've done. Like since. none of the Luminous like, games yeah. afterwards made the same impact on me at all. Yeah, I remember being thrilled when it was coming to 360, and something about it just did not grab me the way that PSP one did. Mm. It did have Genki Rockets. That one song. Anyway, it's a good thing to have. Uh, Jacob in Austin, Texas. Hello, bombers. Have any of you updated your favorite device for getting analog systems using RF or S-Video?